One of my favorite sayings is by Harry Truman, who said, it's amazing how much you can get accomplished if you're not worried about who gets credit for it. So I, I think the husband-wife partnership really made that more viable. Um, I can't say we solved all of them, but we solved several problems that other people have been unsuccessful in solving. I don't know when I first became interested in science. I think for me it was just kind of a gradual progression from about when Sputnik was launched. You know, of course, all the succeeding launches since I lived down in Florida. And then I decided that I wanted to be a rocket engineer, and I ended up marrying one instead. <laughs> well, I've been uh, always interested in everything I ever did, so I, I didn't really uh, set out to be, have a NASA career. And so it, it was just a progression that, that I always told my students, you know, don't try to plan your life out. The most exciting things will be the ones that just sort of wander by you when you're not expecting it. We spotted each other on the tennis courts. I noticed this somewhat attractive young man with actually nice looking legs, my dear, and playing on the court next to me. And I found out later that he had noticed me on the other court. So that's how we first saw each other. And asked for a date, finally manipulated one, and um, she beat me uh, on the tennis court, six love, six love, and uh, I was determined to get a game from her, so I've been still trying years later. I applied to NASA to work the first time as a co-op from Florida State University, and it worked out fantastic. That's where I really learned that I had a love for material science, was because they had a very big materials research and development lab. Well, we decided when we left NASA that we wanted to work together, and so that's when we went to the University of Tennessee Space Institute. We formed a research team to do laser materials processing, and. Uh, microgravity solidification in space because it gave us the opportunity to combine our different talents. It was really uh, a nice partnership because you know my area was fluid mechanics and uh, her area was metallurgy. Uh, we were doing uh, processing uh, uh, of materials using lasers and that was our first big endeavor together. We would have been good research partners even if we hadn't been married I think. Mm -hmm. You know, we were learning every day. Uh, it was a new field. We went from knowing very little about laser interaction with materials to, uh, to probably being one of the best groups in the, in the United States. So, you know, when you're good at something and, and things are going well and people are, are uh, you, big companies are paying you to do work for them uh, and they appreciate what you do, it, uh, you see all kinds of new things and that's what leads to innovation and invention and the things that make uh, being a scientist so much fun. Well, the research accomplishment I would pick that makes me proudest is uh, our little solutal Bernard cells. And, and I think what was interesting, we were trying to understand uh, concentration-driven uh, instabilities in fluids. It was a beautiful piece of work. That's the research side. The practical side you know, there are all kinds of things that, that we did, treating the beds of, uh, of gravel hauling yeah, trucks yeah. and uh, uh, making a lawnmower blade that would last eight times as long as a, another blade. And all that by uh, just trying new things uh, using uh, uh, the treatment of different materials with lasers. I would really like for people to appreciate the uh, use and how beneficial the use of lasers and such can be. On the more personal level, I'd like people to just understand and realize how uh, much fun it is. And you put in a heck of a lot of hard work and hours and hours and hours, and then you get that eureka moment when you finally have the right processing com you know, parameters or you, you see your experiment, the video coming down from space, that it makes it, it all worthwhile. And I would love for other people to really appreciate how uh, beautiful and wonderful it is to do science and research. And you know, when you, when you pull together, it's amazing what you can accomplish. It's just flat fun. Uh, 